So I want to give an update real quick before I start uh, the video and get in depth of it. The little boy that got shot last summer, uh, summer 2017, uh, I finally looked him up again to make sure uh, an update because I know you guys were asking for it. So uh, to check out the updated article, um, will be in the description below. But uh, just the gist of the story, if you didn't watch that video that I posted about it, he uh, got shot in the back of the head with a, a BB pellet rifle. They don't know exactly what model or whatever. I, I don't know. But um, the projectile, which conf was confirmed to be a BB, is lodged in his head. And the doctors state that uh, it would do more damage taking it out. So they're going to leave it in him. So uh, he's pretty much going to have a pellet or BB, but like I said, a BB stuck in his head for the rest of his life. Um, so anyway, that's good news for them. Um, and about the little, or about the teenager that shot him, uh, he's going to be getting in some deep trouble. Uh, so a lot of char charges were filed. So um, that's good um, justice for him. But I got some worse news than that. Um, so this is how this video came about. Uh, within the new year, 2018, um, a young girl, eight-year-old girl, was shot in the face with a BB gun. Um, she was taken to the hospital in critical condition, and she ended up dying within. By the time she got to the hospital, I don't know the full. Like I said, the full story. The articles that I've read don't really give you the full detail of what's going on. But but she ended up passing away because she got shot in the face with a, a BB. Um, and what happened was that. The BB got shot in her eye, and I don't, if you if you don't know the human uh, anatomy or the the skeleton human skeleton very well, the skull has a passage behind the eye socket that leads to your brain. Um, or the area that your brain where your brain's at. So what happened was the the BB got shot in her eye and must have went straight through that passage and went into her. Um, brain and started causing um, brain trauma and it's just a sad story um, and come to find out it was a, a sibling that shot her a younger sibling so she was eight years old and the younger sibling which was six years old and there's conflicting stories they don't know whether it was her brother or her cousin I've read so many articles about it but anyway it doesn't matter what happened it's still sad that she ended up dying because of uh, the misuse and carelessness of an air rifle and a BB at that. It, it, it wasn't no high-end, you know, PCP or um, anything, you know, like you would think that would drop a person. It was uh, just a regular cheapo uh, BB gun from what I was, you know, from what I got from the article. Um, so, yeah. So the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission uh, declares that there's about four deaths from air guns in general per year and air rifles that shoot the projectile uh, over 350 feet per second, I believe is what it said, uh, increase the risk of death. So even though it's a BB and it's a small projectile and you know it's not shooting that fast, it's definitely gonna either cause some injury or death as you've already listened to me talk about it. Um, so today i want to uh, do a simulated test of what happened to that little girl and you know like i said it's just a sad scenario but i just want to show you guys that way you get a direct representation of what can happen so i got my coconut here this is pretty much my go-to test for that stuff and i drilled a hole in here kind of representing that pathway to the brain and the brain's you know 20 percent uh 20% uh, ballistics gel is replicated in this coconut. And that's what the density of the brain is. So 1.05 grams over uh, cc. So I'm gonna try to lodge a pellet in that hole about point blank away, because I'm sure you know, that most, half, most of the accidents that happen like that, um, whether they're fatal or not, are pretty much you know, within point blank range. Um, I highly doubt that they're that you know too far away like the little boy that got shot I don't know how far he was away but um, anyway so we're gonna set this up for you and I'm gonna shoot it with the Crossman Legacy 1000 using these Daisy uh, pellets or uh, BBs and this gun with three pumps is shooting at 
450 feet per second on average with these BBs, so it's very powerful. Um, and I'm sure we'll get to see some good results with it. I'm going to shoot it, like I said, point blank and that, try to get it in that little hole and uh, see how much damage a BB can do to 20% ballistic gel replicating the brain and then I'll cut it open. So let me get set up here and I'll be right back. Oh, that was a direct hit. Let me get the coconut cut open here and we'll take a look. Alright guys, so here's the coconut cut up. I used a Sawzall. So we should be able just to split it open here. See where the BB went. Okay, so I can see here the BB went in right there and there's a trail that's going down. You can see it. I'll take pictures. So it went down this way on this side. So it went all the way through that, just to, just to show you guys. It went all the way down to the bottom. I haven't found it yet, but I can see the trail. From the outside of the coconut, which would represent the eye, it went down past three and a half inches. Holy crap, there it is right there. This is how powerful modern day air guns are. You definitely don't want to be getting shoot, shot by something like that. It's stuck on the other side of the coconut. And if you don't believe BB guns can kill people, think again. This is a coconut. It's harder than the human skull. I can't stress enough about safety, guys. That is crazy. 20% ballistics gel. Zipped right through it. No problem. Hey guys, so I want to end this video and say that, you know, make sure you're always safe out there. You know, these safety regulations and guidelines and all that stuff that they put on the boxes of your air rifles and post on the web, it's not there for you not to have fun. It's there to keep you alive and safe while you're having fun. So, as always, you know, I appreciate you guys watching and like I said, it doesn't matter really what it is. If an object gets lodged somewhere it's not supposed to be, it could be the end, you know. Whether it's a fatal, you know, fatal, or if it's just a, an injury that you're going to be stuck with for the rest of your life. So as always, you know, make sure you wear the proper protection equipment. I typically don't wear my safety glasses when I shoot uh, with the scope, but you know, with the BBs and stuff like that, they have a really high chance of ricochet. So I'm not a big. I used to shoot a lot of BBs as I was a, when I was a kid, but not so much anymore. So. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and, you know, like I said, just stay safe out there, and, you know, BBs, can they kill you? Absolutely. So, we'll see you on the next one, everybody. Thanks again for watching.